What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Volks TV. It's a nice day today. I thought I'd go out and take a ride with a very specific destination in mind. You see, we got some news yesterday that our roof rack is ready. It's been uh, all sandblasted, all that crusty rust from being on top of everybody's bus for a year is gone. It's down to bare metal. It's ready to be painted and I'm gonna go pick it up because this thing needs a rack. It looks terrible without a rack. Well, not terrible, it's still beautiful, but it would be a lot cooler with a roof rack on it. So we're gonna go pick up that red Skinner rack that we got. I uh, just gotta run down to the uh, shop and uh, got an interesting way to put it on the bus that I'll show you guys uh, when we get there, how to put a giant full length Skinner roof stiffener on with one person. Let's go check it out. All right, we made it. We're at the shop. I'm very excited to see what this thing is going to look like. <laughs> uh, so it's over here in the sandblasting booth. Let's go check it out. Ooh, looks good. Wow, that is really nice. That's just uh, bare metal you know, sandblasted, so it's not been painted. Um, but I think we're gonna do it in it's silver, so that's pretty cool. That's gonna look nice. Uh, let's get it out into the sun and uh, take a closer look, and then we'll show you my trick to getting it mounted on the bus by myself. Let's go. share with you my secret for uh, lifting this giant rack all by myself onto the roof of that bus so it's pretty big and not only that I have to uh, basically thread the needle with this pop top cutout that we did um, and get it just perfect so we got these little straps and I've got my uh, secret weapon to get it on top of there Boom! Forklift. I am a forklift certified operator and we're gonna lift this up and gently using these long eight foot forks and those two straps <laughs> gently set it down right on top of that bus. Watch in amazement as I nail it on the first try through the magic of editing. We did it one shot didn't even have to use the editing machine just got it in one shot i'm pretty good with the forklift it was way easier getting it on than it was getting it off because getting it off i didn't have a forklift i had to do it by hand that sucked i really like this this uh kind of silver matte color so i think i'm gonna i'm gonna paint it that color it does look a lot better on the bus that way uh so we're gonna take this thing home and uh, we're gonna weld a couple things to it and then uh, maybe prime it and get it painted today or tomorrow. Uh, but it's gonna be hopefully done. We got a, a little trick that we're stealing from uh, Mr. Skinner. Uh, but I'll show you that when we get home. Something cool we're gonna put on this rack. It's gonna make it a lot more functional. So let's go back on the road, back home, and let's get to work. Wouldn't you know it. Using that damn forklift, letting it run for a minute, ran out of gas. So I had to go uh, take the uh, propane bottle, 
to your local friendly neighborhood uh, propane store <laughs> to get some propane. So after we get this filled up, take it back, park the forklift, park the truck, close the door, drive home, then we can get to welding. Man, we are just having one heck of a day. I went to leave the uh, propane store. My shifter got jacked out of uh, out of position. I got stuck kind of between reverse and no man's lane. I think now I got it. No. There we go. Luckily, I keep tools. All right, man, what an adventure getting home yesterday. That shifter broke on me every shift. Almost, I had to, uh, every time I hit third gear, it break, it gets stuck, I had to pull over, take the shifter out, adjust it, get it back in, and then I could get home. Finally just quit using third gear and went from second to fourth and I was able to make it all the way home. But man, it took hours to get that, get home from the shop. That was hot, it was terrible. Uh, but we're finally home, so here we are the next day. So I had John uh, come over and help me get the rack off. Got it down here on the ground where it's easy to work on. I uh, got a lot of stuff to do to it before we get it powder coated. Uh, so, you know, I'll show you kind of what we're going to do. Uh, first thing, what we're going to do is we're going to take this crusty, rusty piece that we had previously cut out. You can see what that looked like before uh, sandblasting. Uh, that's because it was on top of a bus that traveled around the country coming from Skinner shop to here. And then we went and picked it up at Paul's house. We cut these out, we cut the middle section out uh, to clear for the pop top. And uh, it needs a little bit of trimming still, so we're gonna do that today. We're actually gonna cut these down and, uh, and kind of weld them in back here a little bit so we can get some of that structure on the side again. And we'll trim these back. Uh, we'll just split it here and run it on either side of this leg. Uh, so that's one thing. And then uh, the other thing is we're going to take this flat plate and we're going to put it right in here just like that. Uh, and there and over here and back here. What that's going to do is uh, something that I'm stealing from Skinner <laughs> on his uh, Pavo Real. But um, if you haven't seen that bus, you got to check it out. That thing is rad. Uh, he did the whole Rubicon trail on it. Showed all those Jeep guys up uh, doing it in a two-wheel drive bus. But what he's got on that bus is a, a hammock that hangs off of the side. And I love it. And I'm doing it. Uh, so we're going to weld these plates in here. I got some hardware. I got some Unistrut. Come off this way and we'll be able to hang a hammock out here. So if it's really nice for camping, you know, we can take a little siesta outside under the awning. Got that huge awning too that sticks out 10 feet. Uh, so this will be perfect underneath that. Get a couple chairs to hang off it, lanterns, whatever. It's going to be pretty great. So uh, we're going to get these cleaned up, trimmed. We're going to get that cut down. We'll weld it all on there. Once it's all good to go, bring it down to the old powder coat shop, get her done, and then uh, put it back on the bus and see how we did. So come on, let's go do it. There we go, all cleaned up. Got the remnants cut off, uh, got all the rust ground off. I used an old grinder wheel, flapper wheel, uh, to get it clean because I wasn't trying to take off any material really. So that's what it looked like when they ship it. <laughs> Super nice. But after two years of being out in the weather, you know, uncoated, uh, you know, they tend to get a little bit rusty. Uh, so we're gonna get this trimmed up here. I probably should have had these sandblasted when I sandblasted the rack but uh i just forgot to take them in uh, but oh well a little bit of work we're back where we need to be uh, so we're gonna get this cut up and there's a lot of birds out here right now it's like i live in a bird sanctuary it's crazy so many freaking birds all right anyways we're gonna get this thing trimmed down and we'll get it welded in where it needs to be and then once we get it where we want it uh, we'll cut off whatever's left these are uneven 
cuts because we just did it real quick in Paul's driveway to get it on the bus uh, last year. So we'll trim it and uh, we'll get it tacked in and then we'll do the, the little plates and then we'll switch to the other side and uh, that should do it for today. So let's get to cutting. Check it out. That's pretty great. So I didn't put the right hardware on the other side because uh, I didn't grab the right one. But put an eye bolt here, and that's what we'll hook the uh, you know with a couple of big washers. That's what we'll hook the hammock to, and then it kind of hangs out about four feet. Then we got our plate, we got our bolt, and on the bottom I use the wing nut. Um, and I'll probably in the future actually weld a wing nut to the top and then use a wing nut to the bottom so it's easy to put together at the campsite. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. This is that eye bolt. That'll be a regular bolt with a wing nut and a couple big washers. And then we'll just cut it so it doesn't stick out on the back. Um, but on the awning, you know, the awning will hang out from up here. So we'll have uh, like a neat little hangy guy for hammock or those little hammock chairs that we can put on there. Um, it's Since it's going to be up here, you won't be hitting your head on it. You know, it's up above the drip rail on the bus. So, you know, it's not real low. That's what's cool about it is you can have something to hang all your crap from without banging your head into it. Um, it's one more nice place to sit when we're camping or you know if you had a nice night we can sleep in the hammock it'll be pretty neat so pretty cool I like it um, Skinner's is a little different setup but uh, I think this will work good for us and if we cut it down here we can actually lay it in right inside that little corner piece that we made maybe I'll get something to so I can run a bolt in there we can do one on each side for transport um, so they're not in the bus and then this came out pretty good you know stiffing I got to do a little more finished welding but to stiffen it up a little bit and that's actually the piece that came out of there just moved over so and I know it'll clear because we were only about a half inch off and I cut off about two inches from each one of those so I know it'll clear the pop top now so it's hot. I'm going to power through it and get the other side done. And uh, I'm going to call it a day. But you get the idea. You don't need to watch me do it twice, hopefully. And if you do, hey, just rewind it just a little bit. <laughs> uh, so there you go. You can modify your rack. Um, I'll give you the specs of the stuff I use. But really, everything I just got from Home Depot. Uh, the plate steel and the hardware and the Unistrut. So... I'll put links if you need them, or you can just ask me in the comments, I'll give you a description, but you should be able to figure it out on your own. <laughs> uh, so with that said, hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, tell a friend. Thanks for watching. <laughs>